Hi, welcome along to this tutorial. Again, looking at the effect or how we graph quadratics, and we're looking, if you can see the equation down the bottom, at this general form y equals a outside of x minus h all squared plus k. Now, both a, h, and k are what are known as parameters. You can see them up here on the right hand side. Um, you've seen before here, as we vary the value of a, and I'll just do that now by increasing it it makes it a skinnier graph. Now we call this a dilation in the y-axis. If we take that and move it back to the left, you'll see as we go to a negative, we go from what's been a happy graph, a smiley face if you like, into a sad graph. So here again, making that value smaller and smaller, just get rid of that, making that value smaller and smaller, we actually um, make it a skinnier graph. Now, you might have noticed too as we did that, down here our equation changes and you can see here we've dilated y in, uh, sorry we've dilated our graph in the y-axis by a factor of two here it's dilated in the y-axis by a factor of four okay take that back and reset it to its standard we've also got this value of h now again I'll just play with that so dragging it to the right you'll see here let's see if I can get it without bringing that up Okay, I've shifted my graph to the right three. You see x minus three, so that's had the effect of a translation to the right of three. You might notice my turning point of the graph here, also known as the vertex, I'll just get that to mark in, is now three comma zero. It had previously gone through the origin at zero comma zero. Moving that to the left, you can see the effect on both the graph itself. Okay, shifting it to the left. Keeping, now making the vertice negative 2 comma 0. The vertice is just another name for the turning point. Okay, And the effect on the equation, now our equation looks like this, y equals x plus 2 all squared. So by making that a positive, we shift it, we translate it to the left. By making it a negative, as we've done here, we translate it to the right, and the vertice shifts as well. Okay, finally we look at the effect of k, and you can probably guess, if you don't know already, that k will actually translate it upwards or downwards. And you can actually see the effect on the graph here as well as on the equation. You can see the negative 3 popping up on the equation, you can also see it here, and the fact that we've dropped our graph now by 3 units. If we check out the vertice here, you can see that it is now two units to the right and three units down. Okay, and it's marked in here. We can actually change that vertice. So if I wanted to pay, say place that up here at this point, you might like to stop the video and think about what your equation will look like. Okay, so if I was to change the vertice and bring it up here, keep it as a smiley face, what would our vertice be and therefore what would the equation look like? I pause the video and have a thought there. Okay, assuming you've done that, if I was to actually bring that over to negative 2, no, sorry, negative 1, and I want to bring that upwards, and I think that's where I said I wanted my turning point, so my vertice or turning point is now at that point, and you can see the effect of what the graph looks like. Okay, terrific. I hope that's actually helped.